Hey there, signs of Gemini. This is Kim here with your reading. I hope you're doing really good today. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into this. And thank you for purchasing private readings. People who have purchased private readings. I have three different options, three different prices. They're in the description box below and I do appreciate it. They're recorded videos for you, kind of similar to what I do on YouTube. All according to what you need. Any topic, really. I'm well-rounded. <laughs> Not a lot of useless college, but a whole lot of credits. <laughs> so, I channel in all kinds of information for people, from doctors to law to all kinds of stuff. Whatever you want. I can channel it. All right. Okay, maybe not so much law. I mean, say that. <laughs> Much law, maybe more so medical and a psychological and whatever. Coming out of a fog, you're coming out of a fog. Yay! Blood is pumping, you're coming out of a fog. Here we go. Blood is pumping, we're coming out of a fog. We're feeling alive. We're seeing sparks. Woo! We're seeing sparks. Oh, this is good. This is going to be good. Because, I mean, the spark of light. I don't know. What are you imagining? I'm, I'm imagining all kinds of things. From nebulas to the sparkler that you hold in your hand. Like, there's a spark of hope here. It's going to make you feel alive. Yep attraction sugar gold oh my lordy gold and sugar precious it's precious you're precious you're the sweetheart you're the sugar you're attracting and you're gonna find gold in something you're gonna find gold a spark of light can be a really creative idea or venture. Give me something like that. That leads to gold. I don't know, but you're very, um, you are, attra you see blood sugar on here too. So you need to uh, make sure that if you, if you're having a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs all throughout the whole day, that there's something balanced with your blood sugar. Just a message, side message. Something from a past life, something that is eternal, the eternal carnation here in resin is about to crack open. Some of you all, this if you're looking for love, then that would be eternal love uh, coming back into the scene. Oh, <laughs> and it's funny because the this card means that something could get slippery or there's a lot of mobility. There's um, travel indicated, and it may be here, there, and everywhere. It's literally, so you'll be out of a fog as far as to some type of direction that you're going to go in. Okay, and, and Quicksilver is Mercury, right? So it's uh, two states at once in a way, liquidy, but yet rolls like a ball. Almost solid at the same time. To, and some things come into perfection, you're about to manifest. Be flexible or adaptable with how this happens. Let's do one more. I'm going to put this up and we'll pull from the smaller tarot deck. You're being benevolently guided. You have a benevolent guide. You have a guide who has only good intentions for you out here on the table <laughs> you're being guided by the sun's energy this is a um, divine energy guiding you through the fog so that you can see so that you can get wealth riches this is the mother load guys especially when it is combined with uh, gold it's the mother load what do you do with this great idea i don't know but you're being guided it is a great idea. For some of y'all, I don't know if it really relates to blood. We do have a, ro we have a rose <laughs> grounded in resin and suspended for many lifetimes. And then we have it blooming here. 
Um, and it, there's a quantum, something quantum coming out with this blood card and this red rose. Interesting. Interesting. We're going to just pull some different kinds of cards. Uh, the smaller tarot deck here. I've got, well, I have two. I have the old one. I have Osho Zen Tarot, which honestly, the colors would probably match better. So let's use that. <clears throat> something's coming to perfection you've done something round and round you see this pearl it's wrapped around an egg that looks like it is starting to hatch this is what you came here to do For some of you all this is what you came here to do this is why it would be able to spark and light up such great change within you is uh, that your soul is into it Healed, healed, I'm getting the message healed on many levels, wasn't easy. I think I love you, I'll love you forever is popping into my head. It's a song, it's from Lana Del Rey, I think I'll love you forever. It's this forever love, it's forever, it's lifetime, eternal love coming back coming back around again all right these are all on their side so I am going to take them upright all of them and we'll figure it out all right so oh that's nice isn't it okay you are being benevolently guided listen to your self your inner voice the two the two of cups is here Okay, so this is coming out of a fog. I originally was looking at the fog and thinking maybe we should pull some tarot on what we're coming out of the fog about. And then I see this two of cups. And so the sun could represent a new relationship or something brand new coming into your life. It could represent like bliss, happiness. And then uh, beautiful, we have the king of wands in the middle. And this is um, a person who overcomes all challenges and obstacles in order to build what they want to build wow look at that chakra <clears throat> i'm going to say your solar plexus is lit up with creativity right now it blends in with this spark of light so the spark of light has to do with something that you are building and creating and for some of you all it is going to be about reviving this uh, life lifetime eternal love and it, and it coming to you as real love truth peace harmony now this is an interesting page of swords right because it has a person's mind kind of like thinking here there and everywhere it's reminding me of the eight of swords but it's not that it's the page of swords so there could be a lot of things that we're thinking of about at this time things that we want to say it can't be a lot of ideas too. being flexible with your research getting some more information that you need eyes being observed you could be just thinking like gosh I got a lot on my mind hmm what's mind body connection and definitely gut health is coming through as being a thing too Make sure it's good. Gut health. Healthy biome. What else can you give us? Is this news coming in? This, is it the spark of light? And they come with a burst of ideas. Be vulnerable. Take good care of yourself. What is... What, what, what? Okay, we have a pause. What is this... We have a pause here. We have the King of Cups in the reverse, the Two of, or the two, the High Priestess in the reverse, and the Chariot in the reverse. So, I would immediately say that I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that has a hostile, a hostile way to them, or they have an anger problem, or something like that, or there's a a mood thing, something going on that stops us from moving forward 
as fast as we would like to. It might be a person that you're telling yourself to listen to your instincts on. Um, and there may be something about that, too. Ugh. If it's just about you, then it's about being open and vulnerable. It could be about processing a lot of emotions, trying to balance yourself. Mm hmm. What's, what's this about? Here's an offer. Here's the magician. Here's the obstacles and challenges to navigate. Could be a feeling. The Knight of Cups. Oh, somebody else is not going to be too happy. Okay, somebody else is going to experience some uh, an ending with you. I don't, whoa, we have because we have the chariot coming in. We have the emperor in the reverse going out. We'll say that, all right, by that specifically, because this is complete betrayal and an ending, right? The, there was too many knives in this person's back. Always being on the defensive because this energy right here that you were dealing with was unstable. Mentally, mood-wise, unstable. So had you kind of feeling open, exposed, or vulnerable to a situation that you knew you didn't really even deserve, right? And so... In a way, instead of moving forward, we were trying to move forward while defending ourselves at the same time was making it slow. And so something's going to pick up because somebody would be sad to see you go. It's somebody that has like power issues, power problems, because there's going to be an offer coming your way. And that's what would make this person upset because this offer comes your way. It's a good one and it's genuine. The five of wands. Navigating your obstacles, kind of like this King of Wands, though. You can do it. You can do it, and you're doing it just fine. The Magician, you know how to use your um, elements. You know how to create. You know how to manipulate in the ways possible, the best way possible that's really for your own um, loving good, for your highest good, for everybody's highest good. So now I have choices and decisions to make, and it has to do with who and what you're going to cut out of your life so that you can keep heading in the direction that you need to be. If you know your north node, I would definitely, when I see the queen of swords, I'm always reminded, like, to tell you, please look at your north node. Go to your birth chart, look up at, you know, look it up online. Um, because part of work and development would be headed towards your dharma. Uh, work, development, and healing on yourself, self-improvement. A lifelong quest but you can find out maybe what specific area that has to do with in your life you may already have a hint of what's going to get you in that direction of repurpose but if you look up your north node that queen of swords upright is someone who's going towards that and they're using their sword through their communication so their thoughts are clear they have a good heart mind balance they're more typically like a more logical minded person they're not going to be overly emotional they may be even really funny this might be describing you your personality because it's it's a really funny it's it is a i have my boundaries you know, like you can't step over my boundaries but um and I and must use the sword if it comes down to that to cut out people, places, situations that don't vibe that you have. Like coming out of the fog of what you need to use that sword for. And um, you are going to have the choice and choices and decisions available to you with the two of pentacles. You may feel really busy during a time of harmonious change. Like, you're living in the now moment, and then you'll just, bam, you're all of a sudden presented with these uh, options to choose from. And something's going to move in a dreamy, in the most dreamy way possible, I think, with the Knight of Cups. There's that energy. Emperor in reverse. Some of you all dealt with a overbearing father figure or somebody that had power issues or, or they had authority but didn't really use it to the best stupid nat <laughs> stupid nat sorry um the fool it's time to take a leap of faith on this new thing that you're being guided to 
it's part of a, of the divine plan. So you've had patience and now it's all playing out for you. It's bringing in balance and healing into everything, into your relationships, into you bringing in and building what you want, what you're passionate about. This King of Wands is definitely somebody who has wealth by, because of what they have built. And um, they're looked up to because in their inspirational to others because of what they have overcome to get to the point that of where they're at. Yeah, like, okay, guys, it you have obviously been in a, a situation that was unfair uh, in your partnerships, marriage relationships, a justice situation. It was something that was not moving forward for a very long time, or it was repetitive mistreatment from somebody again somebody who misused their authority they were a very smart individual but they misused their mind and their authority and they caused uh, more problems more delays than anything and their advice was not good it could have even been purposely not good to you given purposely and and that is a oh that's a yucky energy and so i have victory over these energies over these people that had power positions that misused them in your life so i would say that justice will be served for you um spiritual laws coming into play giving you a victory because of everything literally that you've overcome everything that you've had to persevere through and if it's guiding you to a breakup then so be it it's some type of completion that needs to happen and the sun is out here again yes all right for gemini let's get a little bit more from the 108 oracle be one of the greatest that is a something that is a promise na, 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 the king's affirmation is a good song to listen to and nico for whatever transformation this is that you're doing with the phoenix you've had to navigate through the labyrinth to get to this phoenix rising phoenix energy and it was complex and at times it felt like there was a catch-22 and that like there was no choice is what it feels like when you say it's a catch-22. But that's why I pointed out a little bit more with the Two of Pentacles. You will have a choice. You will have an option here that's different than this. Because there was something that was delayed and lost and stopped for a long time. And it just felt too complicated to even figure out. That's going to be clear. Uh, the Phoenix rises with you. Shooting star, quick action, wish granted. Number eight, Aries. Rare, falling, a moment in time, luck, dynamic, incandescent, dazzled, sudden, short-lived, passionate, passing through, enterprising, brilliant. Oh, oh, beautiful. So the shooting star, and then I have the checkered flag. Conclusion, outcome, finale, completion, the verdict, settled, results, signaling the end, finishing first, achievement, culmination, final chapter, endings, feeling relieved. Please get off of my cards. I'm sorry. It's really annoying me. I guess I need to move the fruit or eat it. It's <laughs> probably what it is. It eat it. Okay, so feeling relieved, feeling relieved. Ooh. Be able to you'll be able to take a rest, a relax, a time off, a short pause. You might feel like you're in limbo because you're in between two things. Remember you have been in between two things or in two states at one time anyway with that quicksilver. No is this. This energy won't win. Again, they won't be able to build around you or make you build with them. Person of Earth, this is um, just probably your attributes here. Grounded, secure, stubborn, nurturing, 
classy, stable, prosperous, materialistic, possessive, dependable. Youth, mutable, breaking free, rebellious, insecure, idealistic, independent, finding self, strong will. Then I also have emptiness, moving on, no one home, cycle completion. Another card about cycle completion. Endings, beginnings, separating, lonely, maybe a new life though, making adjustments. Something that you will declare it has to do with how you feel, how you feel declaring something. And this movement, this movement towards what is going to be offered to you, this choice is happening soon. The event in question or situation will develop and, and unfold soon. Also, bodybuilder, power, strength, forceful, determined, not giving up. The birdcage. I don't know if the, that would describe that person that I was talking about earlier or that situation where we could have felt like we were a birdcage. This can be in our own mind, though, in our own thoughts. But this specifically has to do, it says Taurus energy on it. Number four, birdcage. Possessive, codependent, cling, restless, oblivious, controlled, sing anyway, want freedom without consent, dominion, watched, hostage, confined. This one I was it was getting the watch because I could see even an eye down here and up here. Like I just saw eyes everywhere. Predator. <sighs> At this time the situation or outcomes likely to occur. Happening soon and very likely, okay? Pillory. It's the energy that you had to deal with. Look, you're moving on from someone who is literally openly dishonoring you. Openly, part of your adversity. Openly being passive aggressive in every single way, very sarcastic, very uh, even the like I said, even maybe purposeful advice to throw you off track or to stop you. And so, this person wanted you to be in this state where you were ridiculed and had nowhere to run. You're moving on from that, and that is happening soon if that's the situation. Open dishonor, hmm. Huh. Well, that irritates me. All right. Strong-willed, independent. This person looks like they're waiting on a train. Maybe confirmation for what you're supposed to do or what you are here to do with psychic medium, communication between spirit worlds, light worker, awakened healer, teacher, leader, truth, truth seeker. And of course, this can be in any way being a light worker. You're also a spiritual teacher. You're a high priest or you're a high priestess. You're here to be the uh, rescue with your light in this lighthouse. You're, you're, you are a re your own light is a rescue to others. If I can talk. <laughs> Showing people the way so that they don't have to uh, wreck into the rocks. So that they get to where they're needing to go safely. To the home in their heart. Guiding people. I have 30. I'm imaginative. You're an original, innovative thinker. And you have an excellent, uh, you're an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas. And your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on people or others. 444, trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds. Trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. And it's divinely directed, guided, supported. It says, I am protected. 444. 26 i am tactful this is like you also wanting wanting to be kind for to others and how you come across is what i think about that zero zero is observant it talks about your angels wanting you to really pay attention to signs and synchronicities at this time as they are sending you messages and this one i need to un unveil hang on um so go inward ask uh, for these signs or more of them uh, and then acknowledge them However, in your heart, you know, acknowledge it by a feeling uh, that that could be a good way to communicate with your angels. So, um, and, and be observant and be on the lookout. Seven, you possess a refined mind and you have an urge to uncover life's mysteries. It says, I am brilliant. Yeah, and you're here to, sh to share that brilliance. I'm sure of it. 
there's 10. There's 12 strand DNA teleport teleportation, ascension number 10. Clear cognizance, a clear knowing is what wanted to be uh, revealed. All right, so that's what I got for you. Gemini, like and subscribe if you did like it, guys. I'm sending you so much love and light. Bye.